Hi, Chad Bishop here, co-creator and star of the internet show, Jolene Does It. Now, this is the second From the Vault series, and what we will be doing is reintroducing you to our cooking episodes from the first season, back in 2009. And the first one I've got for you is the very first cooking episode we did with Jolene, um, and it was corn fritters. Um, I'd never made them before, um, and I think that recipe, I just ended up looking up, like, in some, like, old cookbook, um, and they came out awesome. They were really, really good. Um, there are some outtakes at the end of the video, so make sure to check those out. Um, and I still have a scar on my stomach from the oil, because after we finished filming, I was finishing up, um, um, frying the batter, and it splashed on me, and, well, so, I've been scarred for life. <laughs> so anyways, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for the views. Um, if you like the video, hit like below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below too if you want. And yeah, so and enjoy uh, corn fritters from the first season of Jolene Does It. Till next time, this is Chad saying bye for now. Jolene Thornton here. Today we're in the kitchen cooking up corn fritters. Now corn fritters was one of my ex's favorite dishes. His name was Tex. I ain't angry. Half the place. We only been married and divorced three times. Anywho, the ingredients you'll need for the corn fritters are one and a half cups of flour, two cups of corn drained, half a teaspoon of salt, three-fourths teaspoon baking powder, half a cup of milk, and two eggs beaten. Beating. I do miss Tex. I don't care what that restraining order says, I will always be his queen. I mean, we got a Saturday and a half kids together, and four of my not are his. Okay. So according to the recipe, you want to Sift the flour, re-measure, and sift again with the baking powder and salt. Now who's got time for that? I know I don't. We're just going to go ahead, throw the flour in. If it'll all go in, the salt, baking powder, and we're going to whisk the devil out of it. There. Sifted. Next, you want to go ahead and add your egg and milk mixture. And we're just going to go ahead and stir that up nice and good. And you want to fold in the corn. It's canned corn. I don't mind. If you have a garden, you can go ahead and shuck and peel your own corn. But again, who's got the time? Now, what you want to do is go ahead and drop them by the spoonfuls into some hot oil until they're a nice golden brown. Now, people like to enjoy some maple syrup or perhaps some sour cream on them. But me, here, Jolene, I've got them all prepared and I like a little powdered sugar on them. Mm-mm-mm, I'm excited! Mmm! Mmm! Lovely! Corn fritters! I hope you had as much fun as I did in the kitchen today. And remember, you can get a hold of me corn. Now, you can go ahead and have a lot of fun with this and use some other vegetables like broccoli, green beans, or peas! <laughs> okay. Half a tablespoon of salt, three fourths of a teaspoon baking powder, half a cup of milk, and two eggs. Beat. Is oh shit. Okay, corn fritters. According to the recipe, you want to sift the flour, remeasure, and sift again with the baking powder and the salt. Screw that. We ain't got time. We're gonna throw it on the bowl, and we're gonna whisk it up. I am sweating like a bitch. Neat. Um, whisk it up. Then you want to add 
your egg and milk mixture and you want to fold in the corn. Then you're just going to want to go powdered sugar. Mmm! <laughs> Delicious! I hope you had as much fun as I did in the kitchen.